that you said, which is so applicable to today, is on the edge of control. Yeah. So yeah, we should talk about that too. That let I want to talk about that, especially with the Bank of England. Yeah. And, and I heard the incredible piece you did on the bonds. So let's talk about the government bond market that the oh, yeah. whole world was sold as the safest thing that you could do. Yeah. Well, you know, when they whenever they tell you something like that, you know the polar opposite is true. <laughs> Absolutely. But Alrighty. Well, so but but I do want to talk more about it because it seems like the um, the test of credibility of the Bank of England is going on right now, which is kind of interesting. We should in definitely talk about economy. that because I I have a lot to say about that, of, about what they're doing and how they played it, how they sold it to the people. It was all, it was all live from get go. Oh, it's going to be temporary. They're going to do it for a couple of weeks. Yeah, sure. <laughs> you know, it's a joke. And in the, in the way they sell things, it's uh, anyway, we'll talk, I won't I won't make any funny sounds like that. Well, you can make all those funny sounds because viewers love that. They want to see the real Gregory Manorino. And I, I do too. It's crazy. So tell me what you think about it. Go ahead. The floor oh, is yours. Well, I think I think it's, a, it's 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 insane. I mean, come on now. You, they sell this thing to the people. Oh, you know, uh, we're going to be doing this on a temporary basis, and uh, it'll be over in a couple of weeks. And then all of a sudden, it's like, well, hold on a second. You know, uh, how about no? How about we're going to be not only, you know, keeping it going longer, but we're going to double it. It's not going anywhere. In my view, this is the way things are going to go. Um, look, we understand the situation here. I think it's pretty clear. Mm -hmm. uh, every, everybody, I think, who has even the slightest understanding of what's going on here, how the, the debt hyper bubble is out of control. It's not going to stop until it does. OK, watching the instability in the debt market, looking at global bond yields, watching this knee jerk higher reaction into the dollar because of debt market instability here. And it's not just me and you saying this stuff anymore. It's a lot of people. It's, it's getting it's getting coverage here on the mainstream media. Exactly. I mean, what do we hear from Market Watch today? Uh, a bond market crash is like imminent. That's what they're saying. There was an opinion piece they had. Um, I, I love hearing this stuff when you. When you when you see the mainstream talking about stuff that you, you've been saying for like yes. forever, well, you know, I think that's that's a positive thing. I just wonder what's behind it though. Right. Why, why now? Why you know, like they didn't know there would as an issue here for like a really really long time. We've been talking know. about treasury market illiquidity since what 2015, 2014. Long time. A long, a long time, time. A long time. And, you know look it's just the game that they play and uh and that's okay you look the, the issue i think is most people have no clue people like you and me and the people that follow our work they're they're, they're rare they're very rare people that understand the financial system at its core how it works why it works why things are being driven the way they are the game that is played via the propaganda ministry along with uh, this everything else you know it's 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 a rare thing to understand it. And I, I think that's what makes our work, you and me and a couple other people, is so so important is because we're able yeah. to put it together to people in a way that they can get it. You can't learn this stuff in business school. I don't think, you know how many people write to me, I'm sure you get the same thing. People write and say, how do you learn this stuff? Well, you know, I went to business school and I was never taught this, but it's so obvious now that I see it. You know, it's, I don't know what it is. Some people are just more in tune to it. And I, I'd like to think that the people that follow our work get it because you and I put it into a perspective that they can understand. I try. Well, you're a car guy. So let, and so if you can share your perspective on this, because it seems like central banks and governments have their feet on the brakes to the floor and the gas to the floor at the same time. So oh, if you did that, you're trying to drive a car. What would that do to the car? <laughs> well, it wouldn't wouldn't function too well now, would it? I mean, I think I think that's going back. What did Je Janet Yellen? Did you hear what she just said? They just interviewed her. Oh, the financial system is functioning fine. 
Ignore everybody, me, you, all the warnings from the IMF, the World Bank. I mean, we're getting warnings here from the IMF. You know, I call them International Mafia Fund. I, I think you might refer to them like that as well. You know, and the, the World Bank and all these other people that, you know, ignore everybody. Fred President Waller. Oh, I don't see any problems with liquidity. Oh, no, it's all fine and perfect. It's lovely. Just ignore it. You know, look, they, they, it's just I hate it because they can't tell the truth. We can't get the truth anywhere anymore. And that's why, again, I think channels like yours, and I would like to think mine, are valuable to people because they they can, they can see it before their own eyes, okay? They're being told one thing. And then, of course, you know, they, they, they listen to the mainstream and, well, hold on a minute. That's not what Lynette said. That's not what Greg said. So, like, what's the situation? You know, but then they see it and it becomes clear to them once you open their eyes as to what's mm-hmm. actually going on here. So you're absolutely right. They, you know, it's it's always double talk here. Central banks talking about, oh, we're going to be raising rates and that's the issue here. Low rate, The rates are too low. And that's why inflation is skyrocketing. So what we're going to do here is raise rates, raise them, raise them, raise them. And guess what? Inflation continues to go higher and it, it's just not going to stop. But this is what they're doing. This is what they sell this stuff to the people who have no idea. They think it sounds good because this, this this guy and oh, this woman wearing a nice outfit and a nice tie with their hair done. Oh, there's it must be right because they look like an authority figure. But no, it's just garbage how they package this stuff, sell it to people, and they tell them, Well, don't worry about it, we got it all in the control. And nothing could be further from the truth, in my view. Um, you know, my perspective is pretty simple. Central banks run it all, they're running the entire show, the, re- the rest of it is just a sideshow act theater. Right. And, uh, you know, look, I, I, I would like to think the main thing, the real reason why I'm out here, and I think you, is because we're trying to enlighten people as to mm-hmm. what is happening, where we're going here. And this is a game of incomplete information. You know, it always yes, is. It always is. You and me, what we do is we look at the overall picture, say, okay, what are the most likely outcomes? Um, And then we got to fill in blanks. I mean, you know, nothing, obviously everything's changing. It's very liquid. It's very fluid. So, you know, we could make errors in what we say because we're, we're trying, but we don't do it on purpose. Obviously we're trying to come up with the best scenario Mm -hmm. and no one can be hundred percent right. hundred percent of the time, as long as you're right. Most of the time, I think we'll be okay. But the fact of the matter is this game that we play, we're participating is complicated. So we got to fill in those blanks and you know, that's where this becomes an art form. I think. And and again, I, I think people get that f- for the most part, at least I hope so. Um, but look, uh, I think that we, we are making a difference. We've both been out here for quite a long time. We we have relatively large followings and, and they're loyal. Your, fo- your, your followers are so loyal to you. It's, they write to me, well, they love you. They literally love you. They're like, oh my them. goodness, Greg, did you see this piece? Did you see what she's talking about over here? And I mean, that's fantastic. That 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 says that you're making a difference with these people in their lives and they're able to understand these things. And they're out saying, Hey, did you hear this? Did you, did this make sense to you? Look, I always tell people who are new, especially to my work is if I'm making sense to you, fantastic. If I, if you're connecting with me, that's great. If I'm not find somebody who is, but as, as long as you're getting awake, you know, look, we're not going to connect with everybody. Unfortunately, no. I wish we could, but that's not the way it works. We have to, you know, you got to get on the same wavelength as, as, as or frequency as, as another guy or another girl who sees things your way. And it's a rare thing, I believe, in this environment because people are so dumbed down, brainwashed, and they're just propagandized every freaking day of their life. So when they hear what is the truth, what do they do? What's their first reaction is generally they get angry. Right. They get angry first. Right. And then they get it and say, hold on a minute. You know what? That makes sense. I think I'm going to go back and listen to Lynette more. I'm going to go back and listen to Greg more. But initial people's initial reaction, I think, to hearing something that maybe they feel is shocking because it's totally contrary to what they're being fed, this fed by, by the mainstream is anger. They don't get it. So the, the knee jerk is anger or fear. No reason to be afraid or a- angry. You just got to act on it. If you see what's going on, I think things become clear to you and the fear level drops, the anxiety level will drop. So I have had many people throughout the years who who have, who have, used to watch me and then they stopped and Greg, you know, what you said is actually making sense to me now. So I'm back here and now it makes sense to me. And I, I love that. I'm sure you get the same mm-hmm. thing. Yeah. 
And you know, uh, one of the things that you said is how it's sold. Because one of the things that is a personal pet peeve of mine is they'll make a statement, but there's absolutely zero to back it up. Like they're just making the statement like that's a matter of fact and people just swallow it. 